Now, let me just, uh, I know that I was given a bunch of remarks here and a long speech and stuff like that, but I'm not going to go and look at that uh, because a lot of times this is uh, too formal for my taste. Uh, but uh, the bottom line here is you're all here to do business. And uh, we in California, I think that without any doubt, this is the number one state in this country and we're the number one place in the world. There's no two ways about that. We're number one uh, in so many things. We are number one in so many things, if it is in technology, high technology, nanotechnology, if it is in biotechnology, in clean technology, uh, if it is in, in the movie industry, entertainment in general, if it is in agriculture, we feed the world, we are the breadbasket of the world. I mean, the list goes on, we have the best university system in the world and all of those kind of things. And of course, California, like every other place in, in the world, we now have an economic uh, crisis, but even though we have an economic slowdown, we only went down by 2.8% economically, if you think about that, and because, it is because we are so diversified. We have so many different industries from up and down the state of California, and we are so diversified, and that's, why, that's what actually saved us. And also this state, this is a state where so many people come from around the world and bring so much talent, and you are an example of that. The Irish have contributed so much with the companies and the innovation, and especially in Silicon Valley, and now for you to come over here and to open this center in San Jose and to bring 75 uh, people over here, business leaders from Ireland, and to establish shop here and to have form partnerships. And I have already said I'm looking forward going on a trade mission to Ireland, and I'm going to take you with me, Tom. Okay, you can't get out of that one. I'm going to go over there with a trade mission because I love the idea of doing business. This is what it is all about, not to just stay in a state, but to go into business overseas, to form partnerships overseas, as much as you do to form partnerships over here. And uh, I think that all of us, uh, in a way, immigrants. And uh, some people have been born here and uh, they are Americans, but uh, we all, people that come over here like myself, uh, they had a dream as a kid to come to America. Then I came over here and, uh, you know, all my dreams became a reality because of California, because California truly is the place, the land of opportunity. America is the land of opportunity, but California is truly the land of opportunity. I mean, this is where I was received with open arms. I am sure that all of you that came over here feel exactly the same way. If you work hard in California, if you work hard in America, you can make it. And the, the important thing is that you contribute. You come over here and you use your intelligence, you contribute to this state, you contribute to this country, and you will make it. If you just want to live off this state and wait for a handout, that's the wrong place to come. I mean, even though you do get the handout, but I mean, the bottom, line is, is, the bottom line is, I like when people come over here and really dedicate themselves to America and, and wrap themselves with the American flag. You can still be, you know, go and be connected to your culture and to your language and being connected with uh, your, your, your country and all of those things. But when you come over here and you become an American, then you wrap yourself with the American flag and you're an American and that's the only thing you think about when you're over here. So I am in touch with Austria. I visit Austria. I visit the gravesite of my parents uh, every so often. I go over there and do business. I go over there and visit my friends. Of course, we stay in touch, but this is the place. This is the place that I am loyal to, is California and is the United States. And I think that the, the contributions that all of you made is really spectacular. And I can guarantee you that uh, California is always going to be the greatest place to do business. I mean, I remember that the, from the time I became governor, we have been fighting to make it a more business-friendly environment here in California. And we have, uh, the first thing that I did was reform workers' compensation, which saved now the state already $50 billion to businesses in this state. So it really was a great success. And the next thing we did was because I know that infrastructure is so important in order to have a successful economy and a successful future. So we went out and we launched a campaign to rebuild California, something that hasn't been done for decades. We started building the roads and freeways, highways, bridges and tunnels, on-ramps and off-ramps and all of those things. We started looking at our levee system. We have 2,300 miles of levees that were the most vulnerable levees. We started fixing those vulnerable areas of our levees and spent $4.6 billion on fixing that. Started building affordable housing, building our schools and $20 billion in school bonds to rebuild our schools and university buildings and so on. We want to rebuild, and also California has made a commitment to the high-speed rail. 
because we are still traveling like 100 years ago with the same speed and with our trains, so it's about time that we get a high-speed rail like other continents have, and like China has, and Germany has, Italy, and uh, England, France, all of them have high-speed rails. So we now have made a commitment to, re to build our high-speed rail also. And, of course, on the ballot this fall, which is very important that you all vote yes, is the water bonds which is for the first time in four decades that we are rebuilding our water infrastructure, which, of course, is the life lifeblood for California. We can't be without water. You cannot open a business without first having a source of water. So water is extremely important for farming, for everything. And we have a shortage of water because our infrastructure was built for 18 million people by Pat Brown in the 60s, and since then it hasn't been upgraded. So now we're going to build the canal, we're going to build water storage above the ground and below the ground, we're going to monitor our groundwater, we're going to clean our groundwater or fix the delta. All of those things will be part of rebuilding California. So I'm very excited about that, and of course I'm also excited about being in the position to be able to go and kill and veto the job-killing bills that kill businesses in California. So whenever a bill comes down to my desk that looks like or smells like a job killer, it gets vetoed because we want businesses to be successful in our state. So we're going to do everything that we can to rebuild California, to bring our economy back. Our revenues are coming back again. Uh, for the first time last month, we had $1.3 billion more in revenues coming in. So we're going to see an upswing with the housing market. We see an upswing. We have now economic stimulus package that we are now having in the legislature debates over, job creation package we have that the legislature is debating over. So we just want you to know that we are going to do everything because we know that the private sector has been very successful in California, but the public sector has, has slacked off a little bit. And this is why it was very important for me to get elected governor, to come in here and to start really working with everyone, bring Democrats and Republicans together. And sometimes I feel like, and I know there's St. Patrick's Day that we're celebrating in two days, and which is all about having chased the snakes out of Ireland, but they landed in Sacramento. There's a few of those snakes that landed in Sacramento, and I just want you to know that I'm going to go and celebrate St. Patrick's Day and celebrate and celebrate, and I hope all of you celebrate with me so we get rid of those snakes also and chase them out of there. So anyway, I want to say thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for doing business in California, and I'll be back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Governor. We heard that you uh, took up a new sport uh, of sailing, and this is a beautiful water, Waterford Crystal uh, piece of uh, glass, and uh, we are glad that you'll be back in Ireland. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I, uh, I didn't expect that. So thank you very much. I mean, I have, uh, you know, been, been coming from bodybuilding and from weightlifting and from acting, you get many awards, obviously, and trophies and medals and all this, but this, without any doubt, is the most uh, recent. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.